I thought I would vlog for you guys because I'm really excited because I'm taking Joey out show jumping schooling. Now it's been quite a while since I've last taken him out somewhere to do some show jumping. Obviously I have a lesson every week at my instructor's yard um, where we work a lot on our flat work, pole work and recently we've been doing a bit more jumping. Um, I've also recently with Joey done quite a lot of dressage competitions. We did one the other week and I was so proud of him. He came um, third in the first class I did and the second class I did he came second so he has been on it with the dressage recently but today it's all about the show jumping of course I haven't actually like taken him out show jumping for a while as I said before but I have been actually jumping quite a lot of different horses recently I've been lucky enough that the other week I went over to Jay Hallam's that you would have seen in a previous video and um, rode his horse Tigger and I've also been really lucky that um, I went to the Breen's the other week and they let me jump their GP horse which was incredible so lots of exciting videos and things to come soon um, but today you know the focus is back on Joey he's been doing really well over the summer obviously doing lots of pole work building up that muscle and he's finally kind of got to the stage where it's like okay Joey you've got the muscle we just need to sort of get him out there and see the world and um, sort of just get used to you know going out and jumping so that's what we're doing today we're doing some training so that should be really good fun um but first things first let's go and get the boy from the field i don't think he's going to be too happy because they've got some extra grass today so i'm gonna have to pull him away from that give him a good groom maybe even wash his tail because i think it's a little bit yellow at the moment <laughs> All right guys, I'm currently giving Joey a groom, which he absolutely loves. The flies have suddenly come out, so he's just, oh, okay, I've got the scratchy spot. I swear, all of my horses, this is their, like one of their favorite scratchy spots. Yes. Do you love it? I think he loves it, guys. <laughs> um, but no, the, there's so many flies that have suddenly come out, so that's why he's stamping a little bit. Poor guy. Are you good? Are you gonna be a good boy? I was show jumping today. You're not gonna be too wild. You're not gonna get too excited. I know it's very exciting. He looks like he's gonna, gonna fall asleep now. I've just said that. He's like, yep, nice and chilled. <laughs> but no, he's been so good recently, guys. Like I said, we did our dressage competition the other day and obviously dressage is a huge bit of show jumping. You know, you've got to have really good flat work to be able to jump. So we've been really working on that and he's just slowly getting stronger and stronger. And we've been really working on the canter. Sorry, I'm a little lead rope <laughs> sticking out here. But yeah, you're looking good, Joey. Not as dirty as Casper usually is, I've got to say. That might change when he lightens up though. <laughs> so yeah, we have been really busy lately, but Joey's still been ridden like six times a week, five, five to six times a week. So he's in good hard work. It's just, we've been doing a lot of flat work at home and a lot of hacking to get his fitness up. It's just the difference between taking him in the van, traveling an hour to get somewhere, riding there for an hour, it just does take up like a whole morning or a whole afternoon, which sometimes I don't have, but you know, it's very easy to pop him in the school and do really intense work for like 25 minutes or whatever. So that's what we've been doing recently. So this guy, honestly, his butt is pretty peachy right now because he's just built up so much muscle. So hopefully we should have some good fun show jumping today. Of course, Joey is being licky like Mickey, but does anybody else's horses always end up coming up from the field with the most disgusting nostrils? Like Joey always has dust in his nostrils, probably because we haven't actually had that much rain recently over here. So maybe it's just because it's a little, little dusty, hey? Um, but as I said before, work has been really busy. I've done lots of filming, traveling here, there and everywhere. But um, now summer is coming to a close and we're moving on into autumn. Um, Work-wise for me should get a little bit more chilled. So hopefully the plan is over the autumn to get this guy out a lot more. Um, so that should be really good fun. Hey Joey, you up for that? He's like, I just wanna lick your hand. You just wanna lick my hand? Yeah. Okay, you can do that. <coughs> You are so cute. Also, when I lift up his forelock, he look how white he is. Like obviously he's a gray, but he's really whiting out guys. You can just about make out his star. It's just his head though, just his head is lighter. The rest of him is still pretty dark. Also like here is pretty light, but you're still cute. Even if I have to clean you loads when you're older, yes. He's just the most cuddly horse. You love attention. You love all people, don't you? 
right guys, now Joey is groomed and ready to go, it's time to get myself ready now. So something I'm gonna be using today and trying out is the new Shadow by Aerowear. So this is a back protector, which is really cool because I'm gonna put it on now so you can see. <laughs> so this is what it looks like, I thought I'd do a bit of a twirl. Whee! <laughs> okay, so first impressions, wearing it, Honestly, it feels very, very comfortable. I don't feel restricted at all in my movement. Like I can move my arms all the way around, up and down all directions. And it honestly, yeah, I don't feel like I'm really wearing it. Um, so this is designed for people who are maybe dressage riders or show jumpers to wear underneath their show jacket because it's really cool. I'll show you guys in a sec. When you wear a show jacket, it honestly doesn't look like you're wearing it at all. Um, it's also maybe designed for riders who currently aren't wearing um, any sort of back protector or body protector. Um, so then it protects your back. This isn't designed for people who do um, cross country. So if you're doing cross country, don't wear this wear a proper standard um, body protector um, and this also isn't for people who are already wearing body protectors if you're in a body protector carry on wearing that this is for the people who aren't just to give them a bit of extra protection so this is definitely gonna be something I'm gonna be using when I go and compete with Joey um, I'm really excited to try it today when I jump in but first let's do a little bit of a fashion show I'm gonna put on my show gear and we can really see what it looks like underneath so this is what it looks like with my competition gear on, with my show jacket and things. And honestly, I think it looks pretty good. It doesn't really look like, especially from the front, that I'm wearing a back protector at all. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do, because obviously, as much as I'd love to, I think it would look, look a little odd um, for me to go show jumping training in my competition gear. So I'm gonna get back changed into my training gear and show you guys what it looks like while wearing a body warmer, because I feel like that would also make it look like it's very sneaky like I'm not wearing one at all so time to get changed and this is what it looks like with a body warmer on and honestly I'll do a little bit of a slower twirl it doesn't really look like I have one on at all so um, that's really cool again still really stretchy and everything I was gonna wear my body warmer today while riding so I could show you guys how seamless and sleek it is but because it is very warm today, the one day I want to film with layers on in England, the sun decides to come out and is really warm. So I am actually gonna take this off and I probably will mainly ride with it off today so you guys can really see, you know, the shadow in action. So um, it's time to travel up there, warm Joey up, and I'll see you guys when we're jumping. I've been trying to find myself in you for too long. Always realign myself for you For too long Joey was such a good boy. It's definitely one of those things where like some of the jumps felt absolutely incredible and Joey has so much potential. It's just getting the practice in, doing a bit more. Hopefully we're gonna have some jumping lessons coming up soon as well, so that should be good fun. Um, but before he gets too impatient, I'm gonna quickly wash him down because he is a very sweaty boy who's worked very hard. Good man, well done. Would you like any more water? Last chance for some water. Mmm, yum. Yummy, yummy. Yeah. Okay, you had enough? Okay. Mm. <laughs> yum. Alright, 
I think it's rolling time for you, mister. Does that sound about right? But should I get you a big treat first? Yes. Yeah, Joey, what do I have? Do I have some treaties? <gasps> Well done. Okay, I was gonna put your fly mask on, but I am gonna let you out without your fly mask and then put it on after. Because I know you're gonna roll and get it so dirty. Yes, okay. Come on. Up, up. You no, know, you know, okay. And. Good. Good boy, well done. Good stretch. Okay, you can go and roll now, licky boy. You can go and roll. Yes, I love you very much. I do. Okay, you go and roll. I've, you've had all your food. You've had all your food. Okay, do my hands just taste that good? Yeah, they just taste that good. Okay, go and roll. Off you go. Joey's now out in the field. Um, I thought I'd talk a little bit more about how he was because I was kind of like, okay, I just want to get him washed down, give him his treats, get him out on the field and get him happy. Um, so that's what I've done. Um, he actually only rolled on one side, which is quite funny. Maybe he was like, oh, Esme's been really good to me today. I've had a fun time out show jumping. She's given me loads of treats. I'll just roll on one side. Or maybe he was just feeling a bit lazy and was like, ah, one side will do. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd also talk a little bit more about how he was and also how the shadow was to ride in. So um, it's been a hot minute since I last took him out show jumping schooling. That wasn't a lesson with my instructor at her yard doing a big full up course with quite a lot of fences as well, which is quite a lot for the baby brain. You know, he has to concentrate and hold that really big, good canter for a long time. Um, but he's getting stronger and getting there. And honestly, some of the fences, when we hit the striding perfectly and things, it felt incredible and I could really see what an awesome horse he's going to become. So hopefully we can do some show jumping competitions at some point. Um, but when I was wearing the shadow, I honestly forgot I was wearing it. Um, it is honestly, it's so comfortable. You barely feel like you're wearing it and you really do have that freedom of movement when you're moving around. It doesn't feel like you're being restricted at all. So um, that was really good. Also, the shadow is um, really cool. You can take the outside part off so you can put the cover in the washing machine because if you're like me and get really sweaty when you're riding, especially on hot days like today, you might want to give it a bit of a wash. Um, so I'm gonna pop this away now and I'll see you guys a little bit later. I'm gonna go inside, grab myself some water because I'm very thirsty after riding and exercising and things and I'll see you in a bit. with Toby and I thought I'd do a little bit of a donkey update because you guys are always asking to see them in the vlogs. Um, so they're all doing really well. They're actually all a little bit overweight, which I'm not mad about because um, they've been eating lots of fresh grass and things because last winter they all had a really tricky winter and they all lost a lot of weight and were quite skinny. So um, I'm quite happy to be fattening them up over the autumn, getting them ready for the winter ahead. Yes, I always find this time of year the donkeys look the prettiest because like in the spring they're molting they can sometimes look a little bit straggly um, and then in the summer they have the beautiful summer coat but now they're starting to get a little bit fluffier again I just think they look so cute fluffy um, but it's not quite winter thick fluff yet I know the flights are really annoying aren't they Toby Bruno who's over there at the moment he oh Toby's off see you Toby you're gonna go see Bruno oh oh is he coming to the camera oh Oh, oh, hello. Hello, camera. Hello, is that very interesting? Yeah. Is that very interesting? Should we go say hello to Bruno? Yeah, should we say hi to Bruno? Bruno's favorite thing is having his ears scratched. Like, look at that bottom lip. Oh my goodness. He also has a bit of grass lipstick going on. Oh, he 
always has a shake when he's like, okay, that's enough, that was diggly. Oh, Toby, have you come to say hi as well? So yeah, Bruno has a lot of grass lipstick on at the moment. Bruno's definitely the chunkiest of the lot. So much so that we were actually supposed to be saving the field behind us for the winter. And we put this electric fence across the middles to sort of control the grazing a little bit. And um, Bruno decided to barge his way through the electric fence to get to the other side with the longer grass. Now, I don't know how Bruno got through. It wasn't electrified, so don't really blame him. He's a very clever donkey. But Toby here then, because he has separation anxiety with Bruno, just was not happy. He was running up and down the fence being like, where's my Bruno? Uh, they now both want to go and say hello to the camera. Um, so we let them through and we do need to electrify it again because uh, these guys are <laughs> very clever. Are you very clever saying hi to the camera? Are you very clever? Yes. And of course, as usual, Willow was very chilled. Um, we need to go and say hi to Willow now, don't we? Yes. Okay, I'll say goodbye, Toby. Enjoy your scratchies. Yeah. And we're now here with Willow in the donkey's shed, stable, whatever you want to call it. It's free range, so they can come in here when they want to and go out when they want to. Um, but Willow usually likes to come in here to get out of the midday heat, have a bit of a snooze. She's also had like a bit of a morning routine lately, where after she's had her breakfast, she'll go out on the field and have a lie down, like flat out lie down and have a good sleep. Um, but everybody always asks me how she's doing and she's doing really well at the moment. I think she does a bit better over the summer than the winter, so she's been doing really well. I think she's having a little bit of a sleep now, so I will leave you to it, Willow. Hey, girly. But no, she, she just loves the cuddles and loves having a little snooze every now and again. So I'll see you later, sweetie. Yeah. Bye bye. So for the rest of the day, all I really have to do is some editing. But before I finish today's video, I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek for the tack room renovation series because um, I don't, I haven't really explained what aesthetic I'm going for yet with the tack room. It's definitely going to be a, um, you know, trust the process. Um, but I went to a vintage shop and charity shops and things, and um, I've got lots of old furniture that's going to be arriving soon, which is very exciting. Um, so I thought I'd rather buy secondhand something that's been pre-loved rather than something brand new because you know it's a tack room I don't need anything that fancy but I thought it'd be nice to you know get something that's been pre-loved um, but I also went to a vintage shop and I got some really cool stuff so I thought I'd do a little bit of a antique shop haul <laughs> Before we start, I just thought I'd let you know that we have loads of starlings in the hedge next to us. So the birds are very noisy at the moment. So apologies for that. So the first thing I got was these hooks. I actually got them in a set of three. So this is the first one. Um, and then this is the next one. This one's the biggest one. And then we have the smallest one here. So I thought in like a row of three would be quite nice. Um, so I thought these were really cute. Also, the sort of vibe or thing I'm going for, the only way I can describe it is like Harry Potter, Dark Academia in like a tack room. If that makes sense to you, then you know what I mean. Um, so this obviously is very old, which I thought was really cool. Um, especially as like people have been riding horses for thousands of years, so you know. Um, also, I didn't realize until now, but all of them are in the like Voltaire blue. So I don't know if I'm going to leave it how it is or if at first I thought, oh, if this is like really nice wood underneath. I could sand it down and varnish it. So it's like a really nice wood or I could repaint it in the same paint. I don't think I really want to paint them, though. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, because they're all blue and I feel like by painting it, it's taking away the vintageness of it. And, you know, it's kind of that shabby chic look. Um, so I thought I could hang head collars on here or bridles. Again, it's gonna be a trust the process, but I think that could look quite cool. It will also match all the old furniture I have decided to get. <laughs> okay, next in here, I have some artwork because I have a lot of plain white walls and I don't want it to be boring, but then I don't want it to be like, a unicorn has thrown up on all of the walls and be really brightly colored. Like I like my bright colors, but I don't want it. I wanted to turn it down just, just a little bit, you know? Um, so I decided while I was in the vintage shop to get some really old paintings of horses. And this is something that I've never really thought of doing until I saw them. 
Um, in no particular order, I'm gonna get them out. So we have this one, and something that I thought was really cool is how all of these paintings are over 100 years old, um, and they had so many of lots of different types of horses, so I thought they were really cute. It's so lovely that, you know, these horses were probably owned by someone over 100 years ago, and, you know, they must have really loved their horse to have, like, it painted. Um, so yeah, there's a little sticker, and it says um, it's over 100 years old, and you might be thinking, oh my goodness, Esme, why have you bought so many expensive expensive pictures of old horses. Um, well, these were only nine pounds and you know, it's something really old. I feel, I feel like it's gonna feel like a museum, but in a cool way. Um, but also, if you went to like your average furniture shop and wanted to buy a frame, it would be about the same price. And this includes the frame, the artwork, and it's so, you know, authentic. So it's, oh, it's got some things in the back. 1880, they reckon this was painted, my goodness. So I just thought that was really cool. Um, it's also going to have like country pub sort of style as well, how everything's kind of old but in a cool way. Um, there's this one which I just fell in love with because look, it's like three little horses all together. Um, this is turning into a painting hall. Um, but yeah, again, does this have a date on it? 1890, whoa. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was so cute with all of them together. I was a little bit sad that the frame has like a broken bit here. I don't know if I'll be able to fix it somehow. It has been painted over in like a goldy color. But I don't know, maybe that adds to the look that it's a little bit broken. Um, I have two more. I really went overboard. I bought four, but you know what? They were really cute. Of course, to be fair, I think I bought all the ones that have horses on. So um, we have a gray here, which is very cute. Does this have a 1870 they reckon for this one. It has the artist's name on the back as well, but um, I thought this one was a little bit like Casper. I don't know, it, it looks a bit skinnier than Casper, I've got to say, but Casper's definitely more of a, a chunky Connemara. This looks like it might have a bit of Arabian in it, I don't know, but again, I love the gold on here as well. I've kind of gone from sort of wood and gold for it, because I, I yeah, I was like, you know what? Let's have a little, a little something different. Okay, and then the last one, everything was wrapped in newspaper as well. So, you know, keep it safe. And then this last one here, I thought was really cute. There's two old carriage horses or cart horses. Um, I love heavier breeds. I think they're so cute. Like look at their little feathers, but they would be like very difficult to clean in the winter. I can just imagine with the mud. Um, so yeah, this is my 100 year old painting collection that I bought and as you can see I'm not lying it literally was nine pounds so you know you can find some hidden treasures at charity shops secondhand shops vintage shops um, and sometimes vintage shops can be expensive but sometimes you know you can find some hidden gems so anyway guys that is my um old painting haul I hope you enjoyed it um, I haven't really talked too much about the sort of style I'm going for for decorating in there but that is like a little hint a little sneak peek of what it's going to be like it's really exciting because we have the electrician coming in next week to finish off the lighting and things so it won't be too long until we can start moving the furniture in and everything else in oh hello is this a oh this is a B Hi bee, can you leave now please? Goodbye. Uh, my granddad's a beekeeper, so we have a lot of bees around here, but um, it's obviously very interested in my paintings and hooks and things. So um, anyway guys, before today's video ends, really exciting that I'm gonna be holding a giveaway with Charles Owen and Aerowear for The Shadow, and that'll be over on my Instagram page. So be sure to go and check out um, that post to um, be sure to be entered to um, follow all the rules. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.